Welcome to 30 Day Reviews, I'm Justin, and today we're gonna to talk about how to properly maintain a safety razor. Now, from what I've seen, you have three main types of safety razors. You've got your clamshell or butterfly type, you've got your standard three-piece, and you've got your adjustable. They are all pretty much the exact same to clean. You just need to pay a little bit better attention on some steps than others for some of these razors and we'll get to that now let's start with everyday cleanings you know once you get done shaving what should you be doing to be honest with you all i've been doing is rinsing it out giving it a couple of flicks to get any water off of it and hanging it back up however something that i found out that we should all be doing and is definitely a good idea is to simply loosen up that shaving head a little bit it gives everything up in there a little bit of a room to be able to rinse out if it won't come out when the head is completely closed makes sense right pretty simple easy thing to do now that you've got it rinsed out really good give it a couple of good shakes to get any of the big water droplets out of it tighten up that head again and put it somewhere where it's not going to get wet that means away from your sink and definitely do not leave it in the shower gentlemen because you'll get water hardened on there and it will dull the blades quicker and it's just not going to make for a very good shave very quickly so I put mine up on a shelf on my little rack that I have for my shaving gear. Now on to the weekly maintenance. Guys, we really don't have a reason not to be changing out the blade of these once a week, especially if you're shaving with it every day. Just get yourself a razor bank, fill it up with the used razors, and go ahead and recycle them. They're cheap enough that there is no reason that we need to be shaving with semi-dull blades. And now that we know that you're going to be changing the blade once a week, go ahead and disassemble the whole thing. Wipe it all down with a hot rag. Get off any of the soap scum buildup. Put a new blade in it. Assemble it back together. And of course, hang it back up to dry. It's super simple, so there's really not any reason for us not to be doing that weekly little wipe down. And now on the long-term care of your safety razor. You're going to have to do a little bit more about every three to four months than what you normally would on your monthly cleaning. And that's basically because this time you're going to take a little bit of dish soap and just put it into a container. You're going to completely disassemble your razor and really get in there with a cleaning toothbrush or something. Preferably the same one that you use to clean your brush out with and that's going to really be able to make sure that you get deep down into little crevices and places that you can't get with that wet rag on your monthly cleaning. Now it's pretty simple for your regular little three-piece razors. However, it can get a little bit more complicated when you get to your butterfly or clamshell type razors because it doesn't really disassemble. And the same thing with your multiple adjustable ones. So just do your best. Make sure that you're really getting in there. Can especially the bottom of these clamshells, they get pretty nasty too. And you know, just make sure that you do a really good job of cleaning those up in those areas. Now there is one more step that you can take on the daily, weekly, and long-term care right before you go and hang this up. If you want to, you can take your safety razor and dunk it into a little container of isopropyl. And what that's going to do is it's going to displace any of the water that's on the head and the alcohol will evaporate a lot quicker than any of the water would. Now they also say that it will disinfect it. However, if I was gonna disinfect it, I think I'd probably do that before I started shaving. So I don't see any need for me at least to be doing the isopropyl step. However, it was something that I ran into that I thought that you guys might wanna know about. Now if you're gonna store any of your razors and you're not gonna be using them on and off, but putting them away someplace, I do suggest going ahead and taking that razor blade out of there. That way, if you've got it in a drawer or something and you're moving it around, you're not gonna end up cutting your fingers because that just is never fun. 
If you're looking to shave with a safety razor or you just want to add a new one to your collection, head on over to 30dayreviews.com. The link's down in the description. If you like this video, please check out the playlist where I review all of these to the right. Below that's going to be a video that you will enjoy as well. Until next time, you have a good one.